My name is Bob. I'm 57 and I live with my wife, Cathy. <laughs> I've got two kids, um, five grandkids, who I adore. I worked for just shy of 40 years, but my pension still wasn't going to be enough for us. So when he called out of the blue, offering a free pension review, I was all ears. He knew me by name, spoke professionally about investments. He, he even sent a courier over to sign the papers. He seemed a really decent guy. Just shy of 40 years, pension. He took all of it. But the truth is, we have an epidemic of scams and it is not policed. You will have been told to report it to Action Fraud. If I were here in my money-saving expert role, I would be telling you to report it to Action Fraud. In this role, which is slightly more political, I will be honest, Action Fraud is mostly pointless. They will not investigate if you report it to them. You're quite, did they, I bet they said they, we don't have resources and we don't have enough way to, tell, to deal with uh, it. Not, not uh, lines of... Uh... Invest, to investigate because the corporate headquarters were in Switzerland, which is utterly rubbish, if I may say that, because they had an address in London. They had telephone numbers in London. Mobile so we numbers. Have, we have... I had names, phone numbers, testimonies, addresses, tax records, even pictures of the main suspects and their exact locations. But the authorities still weren't interested. They even told me lies. A scam can happen to anyone, young or old, rich or poor. Fraudsters have tactics that can fool anyone. It's always a deliberate effort uh, by, and I put in inverted commas, the establishment to prevent fraud being investigated. They do nothing, I mean absolutely nothing, no matter how much evidence you present to them. It doesn't matter how much money is stolen, they still do nothing. Claire, the thing about this, this money, there was a sadness attached to this whole money anyway. You had this, this bank of money around £80,000 or so. Tell us how you came into that. Uh, well, yeah, no, it was the inheritance from my father who passed away in March 2015. Yeah. Um, so it was mine and the baby's future, to be honest with you. If you're not a scammer in Britain today, you're an idiot. Quite devastating every time I see a new one. And I've heard some just heartbreaking stories. Like a, a, a grandmother who I believe her grandchildren had lost their parents and she was looking after them and she put that money into one of these scams because she trusted Martin Lewis, that's what she said. I'm not going to cry now, but I did cry the first time I heard that. When someone is scammed, it can destroy their life. Not just because they've lost money and lost their retirement and lost their safety net. When they realise that they've been scammed and tricked and they wish they could go back in time and they want to beat themselves up about it. It has a devastating impact on people's mental health. He reckons that tricksters have used his image to reap up to £50 million profit in... Your money isn't safe with any UK institution, be it a bank, pension fund or investment account.